Hello guys, gals, and NBs. Today, in this episode of Generative Bob Ross, we are diving into the dark deep noisy ocean again. Where we find this strange creature that gets Thanos snapped over and over. Using instancing, tops, and a lot of noise, we get this floating fabric that dissolves into particles. If you stick around until next video, I can show you some ways of making it audio reactive as well. But let's delete everything and start from scratch. Let's start with a constant chop to set the resolution. If you notice your computer being slow or dropping frames, you can always decrease this value. I'm going with 1280 by 1280. Let's start building our instancing network so that we can see what we are doing. Drop a box SOP. And set the scale to 1 divided by your resolution. We want it to be tiny. Connect it to a geometry. We need a camera. A constant material. And a render top. Connect the render to a transform and a null. So that we can look at this in the background. Set your background in the transform top. There is a box there. Trust me, it's just too small to see. Let's create a grid in tops. Put down a ramp top. Pixel format 32-bit float. Drag and drop the resolution from the chop. Copy and paste and set to vertical. Connect it to a reorder. First input red, second input green, blue zero. Connect it to a null, and let's rename this to POS for position. Turn instancing on inside the geo and drag and drop this null to the translate OP, set it to red, green, and blue, and alpha for active. Now we can see our tightly packed grid. Let's connect a point transform. This is a top that allows you to treat a texture as if it is a geometry. Let's center the geometry by moving it 0.5 to the left and 0.5 downwards. Let's create some space and start introducing some noise to create a more textured grid. Plug in a noise top. Change the noise type to random. Monochrome off. Offset 0 and amplitude 0.001. The positions are now slightly randomized. Let's plug in another noise top. Turn off the monochrome. Offset 0 and amplitude 0.04. Turn the period up to 2 and harmonics to 10. I want this even larger, so under the translate tab, turn the scale to 
This is a nice texture. I want it to be a little bit stretched out. I'm adding another parameter called ratio, where I am setting the ratio of the shape. In this case, 16 over 9. And dragging and dropping that into the scale X in the point transform. Let's just manually recenter this. Changing this noise allows you to create different textures. Let's create a larger noise for movement. Connect another noise top. Turn the offset down to zero. Monochrome off. And let's change this to a Perlin noise for that natural movement. Turn the period up to 2. Under the Transform tab, turn the scale down a little in the Y direction. Let's animate this. Constant chop. Naming the channel waves underscore speed. Connected to a speed chop. And a null. We can now control the speed with this constant. Nice. Drag and drop that to the translate X. Something looks weird. This point transform shouldn't be here. Let's move it. So that it is after the reorder. That looks better. Let's continue. Also drag the time to translate Z of the noise. But multiply it by 0.5 to introduce some complex movement. I find this to be quite beautiful as it is. But let's introduce even more textures by noising the scale of our instancing network. Drop a noise top. Thirty two bit float mono. Drag and drop the resolution. Add a null. Name it scale. Under the instancing tab in the geometry drag and drop the null to the scale operator. Set arc GB. In the noise, turn the offset to 1.
period to two turn the harmonics up and play around with the scale, noise type, and seed. Inside the constant material, I like to turn the transparency on and turn the alpha down a little bit to introduce a translucent texture. Let's create the Thanos snap effect. Let's introduce another noise top. Turn the offset down to zero. And under output select just noise. Monochrome off. And let's add this to our original shape. Let's turn the harmonics up and we have what looks like a particle cloud of random points. If we turn the amp down, we can see the points gathering back to their original shape. Let's do that automatically by multiplying the noise with a ramp. Throw down a ramp between the noise and the add. and change the ramp around a little bit. If we move the phase of the ramp, we can see the effect scanning along our shape. Where the ramp is black, we are not adding any of the chaotic noise to the shape. I shape my ramp like this, and turn the period up to 2. and create another channel in the constant that controls the speed. Let's name it dis underscore speed for disintegration speed. Drag and drop that to the phase of the ramp. Times negative one to change the direction. Play around with the noise and the ramp until you like what you see. And let's throw down one last noise top to create colors for this network. Plug the noise into a lookup top and a null. Set the resolution of the noise. and connect a ramp to the seconds input of the lookup top. Change the colors in the ramp.
and drag and drop that null into the color OP under the second instancing page of your geometry. RGB Make changes to your noise and ramp. Play around with the scale. As a post-processing, I like to use a little bit of feedback. Change the resolution of your render to 32-bit float RGBA. Control-B to bring up the palette. Under image filters find the feedback. And plug that into your render. I like to bring the dry wet down. And there we go. Play around with this. And remember it takes 400 repetitions to create a new synapse in the brain. But it only takes 10 repetitions if you are doing it in a state of play. I don't know if that's true, but it sounds true. So play with this. But I have one more thing to show you. You can of course mask this effect even further if you bring in something like a circle top. And set the composite mode to multiply. Change the shape around and introduce some softness. To get this effect. That's it for today. Next time I want to look at how to make this audio reactive. Remember to subscribe and like. Comment any questions. And most importantly, have fun with this little idea and feel free to post it if you make something cool with it. Cheers.